We are truly privileged to welcome all of our honored guests, teachers, friends, and family to the commencement ceremony of the Mililani High School graduating class of 2005.
those of you who will need it, I'll do it again 10 years from now at the reunion. So let's start from the beginning. Freshman year, ah, the year that began it all. Most of us jumped right in from the middle school. The girls, all elbows and knees. And the boys, all three feet tall. Piling into the gym, it was the first time that all 600 of us were together. But habits were hard to break. We still congregated as before. Greens with greens, reds with reds, blues with blues, and yellows with yellows. The girls wore stylish clothes, showed off highlighted hair, and plastered on a little too much makeup, hoping not to be spotted as a freshman. The boys had saggy pants, peach fuzz on their upper lips, and cracking voices, trying their best to look manly and tough. The days following our first assembly were a blur, filled with getting used to switching classes in different buildings, getting out of the way of gargantuous seniors, and trying our best to find ourselves in a crowd of 2,000. And for a whole year, the million dollar question was, what the heck is a viper? <sighs> Freshman year, the year that we came in last for everything. Hmm, maybe that's not such a fond memory. Oh well, we live, we learn, right? Sophomore year, the year we thought we knew it all. We began to form small amoebas of new friends from different tracks, of different crowds, expanding our pre-adolescent gang. We had to deal with harder classes, struggling to keep up that popular high school image and manage our grades at the same time. Most of us finally figured out where it each building was, although a certain Brett Tatsuno is still unsure about J building. We also knew just enough upperclassmen to make believe we were cool. We acquired a taste for the, shall I say, interesting combinations of chicken created each day in the cafeteria. And in the end, our homecoming score was just enough to lift us above the freshmen to make us finish in third. Hey, progress. Junior year was the year that we got serious. We were closer to that diploma and tried our best to stand out in our school and community. Our lives focused on acronyms like the SATs, ACTs, ASBABs, PSATs, the A, B, C, Ds, and God forbid, the Fs. We had our first prom with the girls in $350 dresses that would only be worn once, and the young studs in $100 rented suits from Tuxedo Junction. It was indeed a night to remember. It was the year that we could proudly say, next year, I will not have to take any crap from any upperclassmen. Lunch was definitely the best period of the day, even if the salad bar always ran out of good toppings by lunch B. And who, for, who forget our triumphant third place finish in homecoming? Good times, good times. And here we are. Senior year, the beginning of the end. How we have grown from those gawky freshmen. The girls, or shall I say women, are beautiful and comfortable in their bodies. And the men, now deep voiced and broad shouldered. Senior year was the year that things happened. 
We can see the change that went on among us as individuals and as a group. Past tragedies now seem funny, such as the freshman lip sync. Senior activities made us realize the end was near and that we better make the rest of our days at MHS stand out. And I believe we did. We showed our school that the class of 2005 likes to keep things fresh, being the first class to have a splashing good senior luau at Hawaiian Waters. And our last prom, so beautiful and elegant, a final dance in the moonlight for us all together. We've finally come to terms with the fact that teachers aren't perfect, that they are human and not demons in disguise, though Ms. Tanaka's news writing staff may say otherwise. We know that during first period on Wednesdays, you should listen intently to the bulletin for Wiki because it may be grilled cheese and corn chowder day. <laughs> We've also learned that having umbrellas during endless pep rallies is a necessity, that when you are dying of thirst, the soda machine will be sold out. And that during sixth period, when you're taking an important exam, someone is going to make a very long PA announcement. <laughs> Senior year was a mixed blessing, knowing that we had so much to look forward to, yet so little time to actually enjoy it. But in the end, we finished with a bang, finally dominating our school dress-ups, and yes, even winning the once elusive homecoming trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a privilege to serve you these past four years as an officer and an even bigger honor to lead you as president in this most memorable year at Mililani High School. You have taught me that high school is not just four grueling years of hard work, but that it is a chance to find yourselves and to find the friends who will never leave your heart. I sincerely hope that one day you will look upon your senior year as a victory, one brought upon by pulling together and helping one another achieve enlightenment. Here standing to the sides of me are five wonderful young ladies who have given countless hours to ensure that you would have the best year at Mililani. We would like to thank you, as well as our senior advisors, who have given up four long years to guide us all here this evening. Thank you so much for being such an awesome class. Thank you for the participation, the expressions of appreciation, and the love shown. As a token of our gratitude, the officers and I have a short, uh, sort of, shall I say, surprise for you all. But before I go, I'd like to read a quote from a special song, Le Halia. The heart is a place for remembrance and rem imagination. When memories rest peacefully in the heart like flowers in a lay, then dreams flourish as well. My friends, we will always cherish the memories. And now it's time to pursue those dreams. I love you all and aloha.